for one thing, I, there was a, there were, you know, back when I started, there was a, a producer, television producer, Aaron Spelling, who produced like Dynasty and just a ton of shows. It was very prolific. And he had said, to me at that time, whatever it is that you do in your life, you need to find your formula. Find your formula that works and never stray from that formula. You can tweak it, you can do what you need to, but be true to your formula once you find a formula that works. So when you're speaking like with Sophia Loren, you know, Elizabeth Taylor, anybody, you're, you go through a Beyonce, Angelina Jolie, up until up and young coming um, actors and actresses that I work with now, there's still that common thread. They have to find their formula once. So for me, nothing has changed. Sophia Loren, focused, um, seasoned, talented, true beauty, everything. She was real. That formula that she had, every generation wants that same thing. They want to figure out that formula of beauty, style, you know, something that creates an icon, um, and so what I didn't realize when I started working with Nolan, I automatically entered an A-list level that I really at that my young age wasn't aware of. I entered a level of Sophia Loren, Elizabeth Taylor, you know, Catherine Deneuve, like everybody. Over time in working, I, under, I, I unknowingly learned that formula and that process. Over time, as time marches on, other people that wanted A-list stature or just hit A-list stature wanted to sustain it. So they knew I dress A-list people, go to Mark, let him dress you. And so over time, you know, that's where, like I said, an Angelina Jolie, a, 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 you know, whoever came to me because they wanted what the lineage had that I worked with. They wanted to, uh, they wanted to learn what, what was it? What, when I hit that red carpet, I want to be, not just look beautiful, I want to end up in all the magazines and not just in the United States, globally. I want to become a fashion icon. How do I do it? So it's a learning process, but it, but it was, it was a, able, you know, being able to achieve a level that, um, again, going back to what we started with earlier, it wasn't about me, it was about who I'm working with. I understood that. And so it was, you know, allowing someone who entered that level to, to, to rework their package, their facade, their, their mind to stay at that level. Because whether you're an, a, a global celebrity, whether you're a globally known socialite, whatever it is, there is a similarity. There is something to creating that persona. And I think if you're able to step back and observe what it takes, you know, it's funny because I say like, even if we're creating perfume, a scent, different smells emote different emotions and energies. And, you know, this is a very kind of crude way of saying this, but for, for celebrity, for wealth, for money, there are certain scents that take you that, that smells expensive, that smells you know, whatever it is, there, there are certain colors that when we're designing fabrics that just look sophisticated, the color combination is sophisticated. So it's, it's bringing someone to that level and teaching them those things. But that's, that is what I think I was able to tap into that sustained my career. And um, that, and then one other thing that dealing, working with women, and then as women get older, nobody wants to get old. And I was told once that if you design for older women, which at that time I did, you're never going to get younger women because younger girls don't want to wear or shop where their mother or grandmother shop. And I never listened and I never bought into it. And I just did what I did. Over time, what ended up happening, I got the daughter and I got the granddaughter because I kept focusing from a creative point of view on progression, modernizing, keeping things going. Nobody wants to be left behind. So when I was dealing with the mother who was a, then turned into the grandmother, once her daughter came in and her, and her granddaughter, what I was doing was cool. Not to leave the grandmother behind, she'd say, well, I'm too old to wear something like that. No, you're not. I would show her how to take a motorcycle, you know, like a leather motorcycle jacket. This is how we can make it appropriate for your age. But for the daughter, this is how we can make it appropriate for you. And to the granddaughter, this is how we can funk it out and make it hot for you. And 
So doing this over time, I was able to span the generations and I've ended up with the fathers coming who usually foot the bill, <laughs> spending a lot of money and said, do you know, this is the first time my girls and my family have ever had so much fun shopping and being together. And they said, you know, they go out shopping in stores. Nobody takes the time to work with them. So they don't have this experience. But it is what has helped me sustain a business, grow my business generation from generation.